Beijing Language and Culture Institute at Manga Dua Square. Beijing Language and Culture Institute at Manga Dua Square. Located in Dalian, a beautiful coastal city at the southern tip of Liaodong Peninsula, Dongbei University of Finance and Economics is a multidisciplinary university mainly focusing on economics and management together with law and arts, consisting of 20 schools and 4 departments. As one of the top domestic universities of finance and economics that pulls its advantages and resources to do disciplinary construction, Dufei casts its vision of development onto overseas and advances a strategic goal of high standards and internationalization. By various means of education collaboration with known universities abroad, Dufe commits itself to cultivating business talent with a global outlook for 21st century. Therefore, School of International Business was set up in August 2002 to be in charge of the work of designing, organizing, and management of all the internationalized majors as well as international cooperative programs of the university. Up till now, SIP has established 13 cooperative programs at under and postgraduate levels with nine universities in six countries, applying seven kinds of cooperative patterns and attracting 405 students. 2 plus 2 and 2 plus 2 plus 1 programs with University of Surrey, UK, Hospitality and Tourism Management. 2 plus 2 programs with the University of Ulster, UK, in finance and investment as well as accounting and marketing. 2 plus 2 program with Huron University College, University of Western Ontario, Canada, in economics. 2 plus 2 programs with King's University College, University of Western Ontario, Canada, in quantitative economics as well as finance and commercial studies. 3 plus 2 programs with Mainz University, Germany, in business management and national economics. 3 plus 3 program with Anhalt University of Applied Sciences, Germany, in business management. 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1 plus 1, and 4 plus 0 cooperative programs with Curtin University of Technology, Australia, in accounting. 2 plus 2 program with Athlon Institute of Technology, Ireland in ACCA, and 2 plus 2 program with Liz Megan, Asian Pacific University, Japan, in the field of foreign trade and management. Under the 4 plus 0 pattern, which is a pattern applied in the cooperative process with Curtin University of Technology, Australia, students do not have to go abroad to get their bachelor's degree on the overseas university's side. Sitting in a domestic class, they can still enjoy the same core course delivery with those who are present at a Curtin class. They can also be granted bachelor's degrees of both universities once they complete their four years of study and meet the graduate requirements of Dufy and Curtin. Students and teachers' exchanges have been taken since the establishment of cooperation between Dufy and those two universities in Germany. SIP even tailors a special teaching plan for German students. As for the programs with Huron University College and King's University College of University of Western Ontario, Canada, they are regarded as the paragon of all the international cooperative programs between Dufy and overseas universities. Adopting two patterns of 3 plus 1 and 2 plus 2 successively, cooperation between Huron University College and Dufay takes place in the field of economics. Since its establishment in 1999, the Huron Dufay Cooperative Program has cultivated 63 graduates. Some of them are now in the pursuit of their master's degree or doctor's degree, and others have found their positions in world-known companies such as PwC and KPMG as well as some foreign companies located in China. 
Here is an overview about those Huron graduates. In 2002 witnessed the establishment of King's Duffy Cooperative Program. Like Huron Duffy Program, patterns applied in the cooperative progress are 3 plus 1 and 2 plus 2. 55 students are involved in this program and 25 of them are now studying at King's University College as juniors. A unique feature of this program can be found in class. Together with other Chinese students, seven Canadian students see themselves in an organizational behavior class grasping the essence of words sprouted from the Canadian professor's mouth. Students of both countries can experience the similarities and differences between tertiary education in the East and the West. Uh, I would like to thank everyone. Uh, being a Dalian for the past two months has been absolutely great. I can't think of anywhere that I would have rather be during that time. I'd like to personally thank Dean Wong, uh, Vice Dean Chow, Tammy, Cliff, and Amy for everything that they have helped us with. They, you guys have been absolutely great. Uh, and lastly, I'd like to thank the students. You guys have been so amazing, and I love I love having met all of you. I look forward to seeing you when you come to Canada. I feel honored to have been able to participate in this opportunity, the exchange between King's College and Dufay University here in Dalian. Uh, the Chinese students were incredibly welcoming to us. They took us in, they took us out, showed us restaurants, bars, places to have a good time. They also took us in in their ac athletics and academics. They helped us out with their school, we helped them out with their school, and we also got to play on a couple sports teams with them. Uh, the administration here at Dufay has been extremely helpful in uh, planning our trips, uh, giving us knowledge about uh, Dalian and China and Chinese culture in general. Uh, Cliff has been a particularly uh, exceptional man, uh, helpful at all times, friendly, and just always looking to have a good time. I believe that uh, I speak for myself as well as the King's students that we have enjoyed ourselves here in China and that an opportunity to come back would be uh, quickly accepted. Thank you. Taking advantage of exchange visits between SIP leaders and leaders at Huron University College and King's University College of University of Western Ontario, both parties devote themselves to promoting the sound cooperative relationship between each other and seeking possibilities of collaborating at a higher level and in a wider scope. As a mirror of Dufay's internationalization, School of International Business will keep its six great features, that is, internationalization of teaching languages, selecting textbooks, arranging courses, choosing students, pooling faculty, as well as managing teaching. On top of boosting its teaching, SIB will take an active role in enhancing the collaboration between Dufay and its cooperative overseas universities in the field of research study. More goals on the road of internationalization of higher education are waiting for the university to achieve, and Dufay knows she can make it. Beijing Language and Culture Institute at Mangadua Square. Beijing Language and Culture Institute at Mangadua Square.